everyone, so today's video is going to be what's in my college backpack. This video has been so requested by you guys. A lot of you guys wanted me to film this video and I actually was very interested in doing it because it feels like very OG YouTube, like what's in my bag, what's in my backpack. So I thought it would be really fun to film for you guys and share with you guys everything I'm bringing because I go back to school very soon and just wanted to share with you guys everything that's in my backpack yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and get into the video okay so this is my backpack it's really big so i got this backpack from my sorority it just says alpha fee on here and it is a jam sport and at u of a on bid day if you go through recruitment and you join a sorority all the sororities give out backpacks so if you're going through recruitment at u of a and you guys join a sorority you guys will get a backpack with your sorority's name on it so i've had this backpack since my freshman year I'm going to be a junior this year and have been using it ever since. I've had a couple of like pins on it, but those have come off, which I'm sad about. Because since everyone has the same backpack when we go to the house or anything, I'm like, I need to know which one is mine because there have been a couple times where there have been some switch ups. So I definitely need to go and get some pins on this ASAP before I go back. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with the front pocket okay so obviously the first thing i have is just my phone this one is the xr in real life if i have hands available i'm carrying my phone on me but yeah that's just something i take with me every single day and then i have my key so literally all i have on here is just my key to my car because sad story my keys actually got lost earlier this year and I haven't replaced it since then. I need to get a new keychain. This is like the one that I got at orientation my freshman year. So I used to have this like pink Arizona Wildcats one that I need to replace. And I haven't replaced any of the other keys and keychains that I had on here. So it's sad and all I have is my car key. But yeah, have that in my backpack always. The next thing I keep in here is just some pair of glasses. I wear glasses every single day because it's Tucson and it's super bright and sunny every single day. So I always am wearing glasses from walking to class to class and keep these with me all the time. And they're just like my black Ray-Bans. I got these ooh, like four, three or four years ago for Christmas one year and have been able to keep these in good shape ever since then. So yeah, I really, really like these and they are my everyday staple for sure. The next thing I keep is just my wallet. This one is just pink. I feel like it's very on brand for me, but yeah, I have this pink Michael Kors wallet that I got my senior year of high school, I believe. I love it. So always keep your student ID with you, always, especially if you're a freshman, because you're going to need it to get into your dorm anyway, so make sure you have all that. Next thing is I always keep a scrunchie or like a hair tie in my bag because throughout the day, if I go to school with my hair down, like my hair is really long, so like easily I get really hot and just like get tired of it and just want to put it up. So I always keep like some sort of scrunchie or hair tie in my backpack. So if throughout the day I want to put it up, I easily can do that because nothing's worse when you go into your bag and you just want to put your hair up and you don't have a hair tie and like you ask people and no one else does either. Oh, it's so annoying. So now I make sure I always keep one with me. Next I keep a charger. I have realized that keeping a charger has saved me so many times because there's a lot of times where I will think I charge my because here's what my ooh, I just unplugged it but here's like what my charger I keep beside my bed looks like it's just those ones where you like lay it on top of it and it charges for you and there have been many nights or many mornings where I check my phone and it like slightly moved and wasn't charging throughout the night so I need a charger because I'm gonna like not be home all day so I've been keeping a charger with me just in case if I'm out and about I need to charge my phone or plug it into my laptop real quickly so I've been keeping one with me the next thing I keep are some chargers this is still my life right now I don't have airpods so yeah this is literally what I deal with so I have like regular the regular ones to plug into my phone I'm rarely someone who listens to music like walking around from class to class I know that's so weird to so many people but yeah I'm rarely listening to music while walking around I if, it's so weird to me because I'm someone who if I'm listening to a song I like I just want to like sing and that's weird you know so I can't do that I never like listening to music I'm very just like present when I'm like walking around and I still keep them because if I'm like doing something I want to listen to like watch some videos in between classes or something or listen to music or podcasts I can do that so always keep my headphones with me still and then I have these other ones these really old school ones because since I don't have airpods and I have the newer macbook you have to have this jack 
to listen to like use your headphones so yeah I have this with me for that if I want if I need to edit videos watch videos anything like that so I keep both of those chargers with me the next thing I have and this is still my front pocket I keep a couple of like these small sample size of perfume my mom works in fragrance so she always like brings home a ton of like these sample perfumes so I always have some in my bag and throughout the day if I need to quickly freshen up this is like one of my favorites it's the flower bomb by Victor and Rolf it's one of my favorite scents ever so I just keep a few in my backpack and the last thing in my front pocket is just some gum this is like so flat because I forget I have this in my backpack so it's getting smashed so I need to remember to use this but I like keeping gum in my backpack and have my own without having to ask it's really nice to do that so I always keep gum in my backpack too oh and then the last thing I always keep some chopstick this one I don't know where I got this or how it ended up in my backpack but yeah I really like this chopstick it's this it's called like Sobex I don't know it smells so so good like a cherry like Jolly Rancher or a, no a cherry starburst oh my gosh it smells so good love keeping chapstick and that's it for the front pocket now it's so heavy so that's why i haven't had it up okay so now moving on to the larger pocket so the first thing i have is my laptop so this is my case i've had this case for a couple years now or actually since my senior year so now like three years and need to get a new one because it's gone really really dirty so yeah it's gone really scuffed up but i got this on amazon and I, I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys want to check it out because I really do like this brand a lot. And I, my laptop is with me like 24-7. I'm always on my laptop. So this is what my laptop looks like. I love this case so much. It's pink, obviously. And yeah, also I'm pretty sure from the same brand. I'll also link this down below for you guys if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, this is the MacBook Pro that I recently got a couple months ago. And have been loving it. I specifically got it because of Final Cut Pro because I before had the MacBook Air which worked really well, perfectly fine for everything else but video editing and obviously that's all I do now is literally make videos and that laptop isn't compatible or made for heavy video editing so I needed to upgrade to a MacBook Pro and I absolutely love it because it has like the touch bar screen and stuff which has been really cool and I've been really enjoying that. And I also got in all of these stickers from Redbubble. I posted this on my Instagram and a lot of you guys were asking me where I got them. And I get all my stickers from Redbubble. I've been using them for such a long time. They literally have tons. If there's anything you're looking for, they have it. So I just really like stickers because I like making anything that's mine very personalized. So that's why I do that. And yeah, I just have my sorority on here, Alpha Phi, and You Need to Calm Down, like from Taylor Swift's song. And then Not Your Party Favor and You're Right Tell Like I'm a Bull from Billie Eilish's song because Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift are my two favorite artists. So had to have them on there. And yeah, I love this. Okay, next I have my Hydro Flask. This one is just a white one. And like I said with the whole sticker thing, most of these were also from Redbubble. And the other ones were from my sorority, which I think they got from Redbubble because I've definitely seen these on there. But yeah, I've been using this one since I got to college. I got this at the end. Some are going into my freshman year of college and absolutely love this so much. Before college, I was not a really good water drinker, which is so bad. But other than like when I was at practice, is really the only time where I drink water. And I, that was a habit I really wanted to break going into college. So I invested in a hydro flask, hoping this would encourage me to drink more water because it keeps your water cold and it totally has now that's all I drink when I'm at school because I just like fill it up with ice and water and it'll stay cool for a couple days and it it's like I literally have gone to the point where I like crave this so much I'm like oh my gosh I just want like ice water like super cold fresh water right now and it's great because you don't have to use plastic and yeah I love this one so so much and will use this for such a long time and I'm very grateful for Hydro Flask because it has helped me get back into being healthier and drinking a lot more water. The next thing is a binder. A lot of you guys told me that they had light pink ones from Office Deep, no, from Staples, I think. Yeah, um, after my school supply shopping video because I said that was what I was looking for. But I realized like I only have a couple more years and the classes that I'm taking, I really 
don't I'm not gonna be really needing a binder for much longer so I just stuck with the one that I've been using the past couple years it's just plain white I have all my dividers and paper in here and I'm just like using it because it's how I stay organize and keep all the different sections and put all the classwork in there next i have my planner i got this from target if you guys saw my school supplies video i love it so much i got heavily roasted over how i don't know the difference between iridescent chrome and holographic so i'm not going to describe this if you guys know which one this is tell me because apparently i have no clue the difference between iridescent chrome and holographic so Whatever you call this, this is what I got, and I love it so much. It's so, so pretty. I love this style, and I just use agendas so much. It's like the best way for me to keep organized and write down anything I have coming up or how I want to plan out my weeks and everything like that. I just am a very visual person, so I like having all the important things I need to have written down. So I have that. Next, I always keep a scientific calculator in my backpack. I said that it, this isn't something that I bought for college. I just already had one from high school and kept this with me. And it has been pretty useful. Like if I don't want to use my normal phone calculator and if I'm in class or for a test and need to use something other than my phone, this has been perfect for that. And I've been really liking this, so I always just keep this in my backpack. Next, I have my laptop charger. I always keep this in here obviously like that's another thing is if i forget to pack this charger i get so frustrated because in between classes i always go to my sorority house and literally just hang out on the couch and watch youtube videos or like catch up on schoolwork. that's all i do so i'm on my laptop like majority of the day so when i forget this it's the worst thing ever especially because half the people i know either have this new charger or the other one last year when i had the fatter one most people didn't have that one so i've been really trying to keep this charger packed with me at all times because i need it very very often next i have this mini stapler i still haven't opened it i showed you guys this in my school supply shopping video as well i am so excited for this because one it's in my favorite color and two because i know this is going to save me so much this year because there's always so many times where i need a stapler and don't have one and i'm always like asking for people who have a stapler so now i'm excited to actually have my own so yeah i'm gonna keep this in my backpack this year and i'm glad i made sure i got it then i have scissors again don't know what's the difference between this i think you guys all said that this was considered chrome and i called it iridescent so if that's what it is i got these scissors and i think when i actually go to school i'm not going to keep these in my backpack i'm going to just keep these in my dorm like at my desk just because these are like scissors are so essential to have if I get a package I need to open and things like that. So keeping these not necessarily in my backpack next year once I get to school, but gonna keep these at my desk. The last two things I have, I have this pencil pouch. I have like two of these pouches. One I keep my pencils in, highlighters and pens in. So I have all of that stuff in here. This one I keep all of my feminine products. You guys should do this too because it's good to always have feminine products on you. If someone needs it and it's emergency, I always make sure I have feminine products with me in my bag. So I just keep them in these two pouches, one for feminine products and one for pencils, highlighters, and pens. And yeah, that's everything that I keep in my backpack and what I'm going to use this year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you if you guys needed to figure out what you guys needed to pack in your backpack this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.